as promised, I am now back on my way to the airport and headed to Chicago. Uh, flight's not till one. It's about 10 o'clock right now. A couple of errands to run. Get to the airport. I need to get some food too. I'm kinda hungry. Okay. Airport again. Alright, for those playing at home, we're going back in time now before the flood, before I went into California to see Kelly. We had some other things that kind of felt a little bit more time sensitive. They need to go up, so now we're gonna get back on deck. So this is like August 2nd and 3rd. And then I've got some boring stuff in the next couple weeks, so we're gonna catch up. I also have a time where I went to Detroit and then the rest of the trip to California, and then we'll be back on the current time zone. So I'll try to combine a couple days here and there. And uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have been an awesome audience. And uh, like, subscribe, share, give some comments, and uh, talk to you guys soon. All right, on the way to the airport, uh, errands took longer than expected. And uh, now headed for a flight. All right, to Chicago. In the whip. I'm gonna go grab some food now and uh, hang out for a little bit. Go uh, go see buddy Ed. I haven't uh, actually ever, I don't know if I've actually hung out with Ed. Should be fun. You guys will enjoy. <laughs> you gotta put a dab on the, to get the color scheme right on the yeah, right? potato. You can't have those carbs, Ed. I live on carbs. <laughs> Don't fuck with Ed Cone, he'll stab you. That's a fact. There's only so many ways you can get stabbed. So it, it depends how the guy comes at you. So if they come at you low, check, slice their hand, step in, stab on the face. Slice the neck across. Shit. It's really cool. Yeah. I gotta learn more about knife stone. Here. So you'll check, come in here, step in here, slice here, pop this up, stab him here. <laughs> you'll grab your bicep. You control him with your knife right here. So I can move him wherever I want. Right. And slide the knife up in there. See this? Yeah. This is the knife. Check it with the knife. Slice, stab, bicep. Tricep. Right and I have to say, it's really freaking cool. And this is this is the this is the fast way. You got a knife? You're just moving. Boom! It's all over. This it's right here. Stab seems awful. See this slight this thing here. When you get hit with a really not real knife, it's gonna slice through everything. everything. So, so sharp. So so it's not gonna be like this. I'm gonna switch and play with my other hand. No. You're gonna look at it and go like this. Yeah. And pass out. Yeah, because it's, it's gonna come open, yeah. That's cool shit. Nice stuff with Ed Cohn. There you go. Yeah, put that on video. Shit, yeah. Like counter violence JKD stuff. So it's like the most extreme violent stuff. 
that would really happen on the street. Yeah, yeah, more. It all has to be applicable. All this fancy play shit, you can go up and go bah, 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 bah. Well, how can you pull it off in a real fight? Right. You can't if you're attacked. So that's what it's about. It's like, you want to make sure that you can go home and kiss your wife goodnight or your kids or whatever. So it, that's what it is at right. the end of the day. And you know what the best win you can get is if, if, if that guy is so pissed off he wants to fight you and you say, no man, let me buy you a beer. And he doesn't. Well, that's awesome. So if you're in Chicago and Ed Cohen sends you a message to come to dinner, go to dinner. It's really great talking shop, doing all that. Really didn't film much of it because well, look, I still like hanging out with my friends. It's weird having a camera up. It definitely changes the dynamic of stuff, so. Got a cool shirt from Ed. Stoked on that. Gonna have to send him some stuff. All right, so that's my whole day. Ed's awesome. And uh, I'm gonna go to the hotel now. Go to bed. Spread hate, <laughs> always party. Thank you guys as always for watching. And uh, have a good night. It is 5.30, well, still definitely a little bit on Europe time, waking up at you know, 4, and honestly it's not that big a deal, I kind of take advantage of it when I come back this way, I don't mind waking up early, I still just like going to bed. I tend to get far more done in the morning before kind of the rest of the day ends up getting in the fucking way. So. Pretty easy way to get an edit in, get some emails done, stuff like that before rolling through the rest of the day. Breakfast option is pretty slim pickings. I think I got the worst looking fucking oatmeal ever. Some eggs, some coffee. It's all right. All good. Off to work meeting and um, then home and to the airport. While short trips like this, they definitely get old. Uh, you know, a quick flight up somewhere, hotel, and then back home, really for what, what turns out to be a pretty short meeting. It's, it's part of the job, and the truth is, I really can't even imagine what a regular nine to five is anymore, where I go to the same place every day and do the same stuff. You know, I remember younger, kind of hearing ideas that there were people that traveled for a living and kind of moved a lot with work and not moved a lot but you know flew a couple times a week and I remember thinking how cool that would be and I've been really lucky enough to get into yeah I've been lucky enough to get into a job that I get to do that so I'm always still pretty thankful of how fluid and how much I get to go and not be bored so speaking of that I have to go Back to the airport, quick flight home, direct two hours, back into Orleans. excited to be headed home really excited I'll be home for like a full day tomorrow basically do some stuff around the house I need to get done since I've been gone for like a month <sighs> and then off this weekend for a competition Detroit competition is really fun it's been good good travel this last you know last night to see Ed uh, going to dinner meetings today for work were excellent and quick trip uh, tired of being on airplanes, but that's not gonna stop in the next two weeks. Still feel very fortunate about how I get to live. Uh, the way I get to pursue my life, the, the fact that I have a job I really like and that opportunities keep coming and that I'm in a position that I continually, uh, that I'm able to take advantage of them. 
that's been great and that's where I really want to stay um, I don't know um, I hope anyone else out there who's not happy what you're doing not sure or has an idea but doesn't know how to take that step just start making the next move start taking the next step toward whatever it is you want to do and stay smart and then when you hit a wall figure out if you're stuck or if you can sidestep just keep making the next step and keep making progress that's really what you got to do um, a handful of years ago I really wasn't this happy um, I was doing the bike shop thing and that was failing uh, due to my own problem and then being in a, you know, my own fault as an owner at being 22 and being in a market that really couldn't support another bike shop uh, just really wasn't a bunch of great decisions and I'm glad I was able to take a few steps back to make some of the step forward to keep getting where I am today so thank you guys always for watching thanks for hanging out and uh, hope you guys are still enjoying the vlogs so spread hate always party and uh, look forward to some of the stuff we still got coming out right all right sunset yeah nice